Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about how to change this oil pan on this 2009 Nissan Sentra. Uh, as you can see, I have the new oil pan that I just purchased. Fairly cheap. Um, when I put this motor in, um, when I was lifting it up with the uh, hoist, it uh, kind of dragged the the ground and it punctured a hole in it so I have no choice but to fix it because uh, it's leaking but uh, before I get into this make sure you like and subscribe hit that notification bell and let's get right into this so I'm here underneath the vehicle um, as you can see I tried to use some RTV here however it didn't work um, so basically what I'm gonna do Let's take this um, drain of oil out. I will be saving this oil to go your drain plug here because um, this is fresh oil that I just put in, synthetic oil, so there's no need of um, wasting it. So after I do that, I'm gonna take these um, screws out here. But first, I'm gonna take the um, drain plug out right there. And that's a size um, 14 mil. And once I drain it, I'll be right back with you guys. All right, oil is draining out. So after that, once this start uh, finish draining out, I'm gonna take the bolts off. Um, I will give you all the size once this complete. So stay tuned. So I put the, um, this finished drain in, I put the plug back in, and these bolts here, you can use a size eight mil or five sixteenths, and it's 10 of them that you have to take off. So I'm gonna take this off, and I'll be back with you guys, and um, show you what it looks like. Hopefully there's no metal in here. Usually the um, plug has a magnet on the end, and usually it'll catch metals if you have any. But um, I'm gonna take that off and I'll be right back. Well, while I'm under here, I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like when you take it off. It looks fairly good, to be honest. This motor has um, 155,000 miles on it, so I guess it should look good. But I guess this is your pickup tube for your pump here. Uh, I never worked on one of these underneath like this, so I can't really go into great detail, but I just want to give y'all a little glimpse, but this is your dipstick here. This is your dipstick here. But um, I'm gonna go up top and let y'all see what the oil pan looks like once I took it off. And note, it's gonna be a little struggle taking this off because they put a whole bunch of RTV on there and it was really, really tough to get it off. So you got to work with it if you have to take this off, this oil pan. All right, as you can see the old pan and the new pan here, I decided that I'm not gonna use this oil simply because this oil here has a little sludge in it. So there's no need of me putting this. So you can see that that's what you call sludge. And I'm not gonna use this. Why would I do that the new, when I put a new pan on? As you can see, it's real sludgy there. But it doesn't look too bad. Ain't no metal flakes or anything like that. But it is sludge in here. From the, this motor was sitting for a very long time, so um, with the old oil in it, and that's usually the outcome of what happens. Sludge build up and then people don't change the oil like they're supposed to. So I'm gonna just um, pour this up and just let y'all see what it looks like. All right. That's what it's looking like. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. No metal flakes. None 
and this is synthetic oil so when you um, do oil changes it's, it's best that you use synthetic oil but um I'm gonna look up the torque specs to this because you don't want to over tighten this when you put it back together but I'm gonna have to go get some parts because I'm not gonna use the this RTV I'm gonna just use a regular gasket I'm gonna clean the the motor side up and um, when it's time to put it back together I'm gonna show y'all how to torque it down so I'll do some running around and go get the parts and I'll be back with you guys all right I'm back I put the fan back on the 10 bolts like I stated earlier using 5 16 or an eight mil. So now it's time to torque them down. I have my torque wrench here. Um, from what I found, it said um, 190, well, actually um, 16 foot pound. So I just translated it into um, inch pound, which is I believe equivalent to like 192 inch pound. So, I'm about to tighten it down. I usually try to go in a crisscross pattern. This one here is kind of hard to do with a crisscross pattern, but I might just go with feel more than anything because. This gasket right here, you don't want to get too much pressure on it because if you do, you can label and rip it. Um, but anyway, I will try to go here, here, then here, then here, and then here, and so on and so forth. But um, if you have any questions, feel free to um, comment below. Um, like I said, if I help y'all any kind of way, like and subscribe. Um, appreciate y'all watching my video. Yeah, have a good day.